In case of sudden cardiac arrest, experts say minutes can mean the difference between life or death. Project in Sweden is exploring using automated drones to deliver defibrillators to patients faster than ambulances or other traditional emergency services. When an alarm sounds at this ever drone control room on the outskirts of Gothenburg, that means there is a medical emergency and its remote pilot should prepare to send an automated drone buzzing into the skies. Swedish drone developer Evertron has been collaborating with researchers at Stockholm's Karolinska Institute and the country's emergency dispatch organization since 2019, exploring using drones to deliver automated external D5 relators to cardiac arrest patients wherever they are. With an autonomous system that uh, can start instantly and, uh, and has no uh, issues with traffic, will be much uh, faster on site than an ambulance. And uh, you still need an ambulance <clears throat> for, for, to take care of the patient, but, but if we can deliver the AED only a few minutes earlier, the, the, the gain is, is very large. Uh, so so you, uh, the, the probability of surviving drops by approximately 10 percent points uh, per minute. Uh, so every minute counts, every second counts actually. The process begins like any other emergency calls to Sweden's emergency number 112 come to one of SOS Alarms dispatch centers. About 3.5 million calls are received annually. If a call handler suspects a cardiac arrest and the patient is located in the trial area, a drone is dispatched along with more traditional emergency services. When they put that pin on the map, the system automatically knows that within this area a drone needs to be dispatched. During a study that began in February 2020, a total of 14 suspected cardiac arrest cases were eligible for drone delivery. Of those, drones were dispatched to 12 and AEDs were delivered to all but one. In most cases during the four-month study, the automated drone arrived at the emergency site on average about two minutes earlier than the ambulance. But those behind the project believe that they can go to three or four minutes earlier with certain refinements. Someone said it, it, it was comforting to know, even if in, in those cases it didn't, it didn't do, a, do any good other than comfort the people on the scene because it was first, first before both fire and rescue and, and the ambulance and the police. Then they knew that we at the uh, um, triage center, we knew where they were. Last year, the project had its first true success when an automated drone played a part in saving the life of a 71-year-old man in the Swedish city of Trollhattan, about 75 kilometers north of Gothenburg. Dr. Mustafa Ali was on his way to work when he spotted the man collapsed on his driveway. He quickly diagnosed cardiac arrest and called the emergency services. After about one, two minutes of coming, I think something in the air, but it's not heard like a helicopter. So I looked up and there is a drone. First, first I thought this somebody's filming here, but at the same time from the alarm center said, here is your defibrillator. So just pick it up, okay? Everton says the time between alarm and AED delivery was just over three minutes. Dr. Ali used the drone's defibrillators and continued defibrillation in the ambulance. The patient survived. When delivering the AED, the drone descends to about 30 meters, then winches down the package. Those behind the project say the application is best suited to suburban areas far from city centre hospital, while easily accessible by drones and with few high-rise buildings nearby. While the drones are autonomous, remote pilots monitor the entire flight and gain takeoff clearance from local air travel control. Of course, flights are limited by battery and range. Adverse weather such as rain and wind may also prevent some trips. An ongoing follow-up study began in April 2021 and is set to finish this spring. The service can currently reach 200,000 residents in Sweden and is expected to expand to more European locations this year.